Yes, <laughs> location tracking. And I wanted to, let's see, hang on with me. I lost my page here. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Google announces, it was yesterday, that they are not going to store your location history anymore. However, there's a catch. This is not automatic. Automatically, they're going to keep on tracking you. However, um, you have to go in, and I'll show you how to do it. You have to go into your Google Maps application, either on your device or on the desktop, on your PC or laptop. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it for my laptop, but the instructions where you go is the exact same on your phone. Um, but it makes me wonder. Are they really because that kind of goes back on how they make money or part of the way they make money, right? So Google, they a large majority of their revenue is advertisement based, right? Companies wanting to advertise to people like you and me. They track your location. Um, they know where you're at, where you've been. And then they use that data to basically know what ads or what class of classification of ads to push to you when you're scrolling on the internet or web browsing, right? Or even in, in apps. Um, so that kind of goes against how they personalize advertisements to you. Now, there's been a lot of pushback on not only Google, but Apple as well to basically not track us or try to use the least amount of our personal data as possible, right? Um, it says Google Maps is getting a major privacy overhaul, giving users more control over their data and location history. Um, as, it, as their recent announcement, uh, the tech major is making major changes to how it controls user data. Starting soon, starting now, Users will have the right to opt out of sharing their location history. It is turned off. It is turned off by default, but enabling it make Google could store your details about your visits and their timestamps on its servers. However, Google will soon phase out, phase it out, giving users greater control over their privacy. Now, I'm not sure if the person in this article who wrote this, it's turned off by default. I uh, could have sworn it was it's turned on by default. It has become, we'll, we'll check, it has become a major privacy concern, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, geofence warrants. These geofence warrants, quote unquote, required the tech company to share their location history data or a, cut, or a, a Google user's location history data with local and federal authorities. Forbes reported that the new update will affect geofence warrants. Uh, starting soon, Google will automatically delete location history data for new users every three months, as opposed to the current 18 month default. This adds an extra layer of control, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's see. And also wanted to note this. Um, it says Google's updated privacy policy specifies that it will store data locally rather than on the company's servers. So I'm assuming that means it would store it if you chose to track your location. It would store it on device. It says, um, notably, even when the users chose to back up their location data, Google will encrypt the data to ensure that uh, neither they nor anyone else, i.e. the government, accesses it. It will roll out next year for both Android and iOS users. I'm assuming that will just come in a Google Maps um, app update. Now, real quick, as far as, and I'll show you, I'll show you how to do it in a second. Google's updated policy affects geofence warrants. It says, uh, Google's upcoming change could potentially block a controversial surveillance technique used by police and federal government. 
called GeoWarrants, an unnamed company executive confirmed to Forbes. These warrants allow authorities to gather location data from Google Map users near crime scenes, raising privacy concerns. With location data now stored on device or encrypted, Google won't be able to comply with these warrants, potentially hindering investigations. Nevertheless, it's a major win for privacy advocates. Look, <clears throat> whether you're guilty of a crime or not, <clears throat> I know the federal government and especially local uh, government rely on this heavily, especially the FBI. Um, they are quick. I, I saw a number, I think it was last, or it wasn't last year. It was probably like six or seven months ago. It was during the, before the summer hit. Anyways, I remember seeing in a report how many, because when the Let's say when, when the FBI, let's say the FBI is investigating you. Sorry, I could have said me, but I'm going to put it on you. Let's say the FBI was, was investigating you. To look at and examine your location history, right? If there was a crime committed, they can't, they need, they need to access the data, right? So what they do is they go to a federal judge and request a, uh, uh, they basically have to send a request in to Google. Now Google has their own department in the company just for receiving and executing or even seeing if it's, if they can do it, but they do have a, a division inside of Google that that's all they do is they intake the government's a uh, warrant request or location history requests. That report that I'm talking about six or seven months ago said that there was like 24,000 requests per day for people in their information. Um, that's insane. Now, this would hinder that. And I encourage, look, whether you're straight as an arrow or you're doing some funny business on the side, um, I would go in there and turn it off. Um, I'm not, you know, big conspiracy theorist. Uh, uh, I'm not real big on that. I do believe some, but I'm not real big on that stuff. However, um, and look, this is up to you. It's everybody's personal opinion. It's your information. So you do with it what you think is the best idea. If you ask me, I'm telling everybody, turn it off. I don't care if... Obviously, I, I use Google Maps daily. Now, I don't mind it tracking me in real time, right? Because I need GPS. I need to know where stuff is. Sometimes when you're out of the house, you want to know what's around you. If you're hungry, you go get something to eat. Where's near Starbucks? Blah, 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 blah. So real time, I don't care. But previous uh, location history, stuff that's in the past, yeah, I, I don't want them to store that. I don't want anybody um, to have that information. For one thing, it's useless. I mean, I don't do anything that, you know, wrong, but that's not the point. You've, all I need is real time location and anything after that, delete it. So let's show you how you can do that. Let me change my screen here. I have Google Maps pulled up. So now again, you can do this on your phone. Actually, let me pull this up. So what you're going to do is open up your Google Maps. Or if you get on your desktop, go to your desktop. So you got Google Maps pulled up, right? So what you're going to do is go to the menu. Now, menu on desktop is the three bar menu. The menu on the application on your phone is your icon picture. So simply on your phone, just touch your, your icon picture or on desktop, choose the three layered menu. And then you're going to find your data in maps that's on desktop and on the mobile phone application, your data in maps. So I got it pulled up here and I also have it pulled up on my phone. So once you go to your data in maps, you scroll a little bit down, right? And it shows location history. 
Now, mine is on, right? So here's what you're gonna do. What you're gonna do is simply tap on that side arrow and choose to turn it off. Now, look, uh, check this out. You can also, you have two options. You can turn it off or you can turn it off and delete activity or history. So you can turn it off and it won't track you or store your location history from here on out, or you can turn it off and delete all previous uh, location history. So what I'm gonna do is turn it off and delete activity. So it says timeline is off, okay. Deleting now, hit okay, delete. Deletion complete. Now, if you wanna learn how your activity is deleted, the link is right here. I'm not gonna click on it because uh, I'm trying to keep the video short. But that's pretty easy now again i trust you google that you're gonna delete it and it'll be gone right so let's see if there's anything else you can modify here um backup not backing up data auto delete you have no activity to delete I right, it's that easy so let's see what else we have in any of these other ones. Now, if you actually go in to activity controls from the previous page right here, and you scroll to see all the activity controls, auto delete, choose an auto delete option that's Chrome history. Okay, I need maps. Where are we at? Maps. Um, here's where you can set auto delete. Choose an auto delete option for your web and app activity. Now the Google Maps falls into this right here. So this is where you can put in. Remember where it said they're going to switch it to a three month. Um, auto deletion and not an 18 month auto deletion. Now I have don't store location history at all um, enabled, but if you have it disabled and you do want to store some location history, you can toggle between three months, 18 months and 36 months, as you can tell right here, but I'm going to keep mine off and just simply go through this preference save. Okay. And that's it. No more location history. Deleted, gone. So uh, you can do that again through your Maps application on your phone, on iPhone, on iOS or Android, right? Because they still track location history if you're using Google Maps on an iPhone, on an iPad, um, even a, a MacBook if you pull up Google Apps on there. So um, just a nice little extra. I like to inform people of things like this because it's important to me. So I'm assuming if it's important to me, uh, hopefully it'll be important to some of y'all out there as well. So um, let's get into the third and final topic. And it does have something to do with, you guessed who, Google. 